Um, you know, I wasn't completely uh, ready. You know, the game plan it was just uh, for that week was just different. So yeah. So did you did you think going into it you were going to play or did you know you probably weren't going to play? Much? Uh, I wasn't sure, just because you never know. Just I'm ready to give my number call. So now that you feel like you're back to 100%, what are your goals for this spring? What is it that Trey Lamar has to work on to be the best linebacker he can be? I want to work on my pass coverage, uh, first and foremost. Um, just knowing and be more of a field general out there, knowing exactly where I'm supposed to be as well as where everybody else supposed to be. What was it like having to, having to watch um, on the sideline for most of the, the Super or the, the in the, in, the, in the Sugar Dome and watch that game from the side? Uh, it was frustrating just because you want to be out there with your teammates, but uh, the atmosphere was crazy. So obviously you'd love to play in that and uh, you know feel that energy for yourself, but uh, it was frustrating. What were some of the hardest parts for you during this rehab process? Uh, just because with them kind of injuries, there's not an exact timetable. And it's really just when you get your strength back in that arm. So uh, just not knowing exactly when and not having that timetable is probably the hardest thing. Has there been any, you know, have you been timid on trying to go in for tackles, you know, during practice? Is there still some hesitation to uh, test out that shoulder and arm? I wouldn't say so. Uh, you know, they the trainer just fixed my pads up nice, so I can go in just like I used to. So. <laughs> what did they do to the pads? How did they? Uh, they're a little raised on the shoulder pads, so, so you know, uh, just on impact, I'm not going to have that same uh, effect on my shoulder. For a linebacker who depends on those defensive tackles in front of you, what yeah. was it like to get the word that, you know, Christian's coming back, Cleveland's coming back, Austin's coming back, and you'll have Dexter there? Uh, I mean, you don't know, but uh, when you hear the news, a smile comes to your face just because you're only as good as your D-line. So when you have a D-line as good as we got, you know what I'm saying, you got room to make a lot of plays. What percentage were you at the last, at the end of last year? Like when the season ended, where would you say you probably were? I couldn't say right now. I couldn't really tell you. You felt like you were close to being 100% or? I really couldn't tell you. What have you seen out of those defensive linemen in the spring? Any let up? On those guys? No, not at all. Uh, they came back hungry, you know. They didn't just come back to kind of go through the motions for the last year. They're hungry. They want to get that championship for this last year, and it shows on the field. How do they make your job easier? Uh, when you got guys like Dexter, Christian, who can take up double teams like that and leave you free in your gap, um, it makes a world of difference for a linebacker. What are you seeing out of some of these younger linebackers? Shaq Smith really hadn't earned a lot of playing time yet. What are you seeing out of him so far? Uh, Shaq's been playing real good. Uh, he's starting to get more and more comfortable out there and it's starting to show just how he's making calls, making plays nowadays that he wouldn't have made as a freshman. You see him making now. Mike Jones, the, the freshman, is he still a little, little swimming a little bit so far? <laughs> I mean, uh, in reality, uh, just because I came as a mid-year too, you're basically a high school out there going with uh, dudes who have been in college three, four years. Yeah. So there's always a, a transfer period that you've got to get through, but I think he's doing a great job so far. Speaking of coverage, how's the, uh, the bags looking? Looking great. Uh, corners out there, like some Coach Smith was talking about, they're, uh, they're playing the ball great, you know, uh, great in coverage. So I think we're going to be dirty this year.